you know what we're on. We are on our way to Publix, which is up the street. We're deciding just to walk there because we got to grab some fruit. Haven't eaten yet today, so got to start off with some fruit, you already know. After that, we're going to find somewhere to eat. Maybe we go back to that chicken place so we can get the protein. Practicing better accountability, trying to be a better version of myself at all times, every day. Radical honesty has been a new one that I've like verbalized as something that I've been practicing for quite some time now and I've really verbalized it, which has been, you know, gave it a, a term. So just being as honest with myself as possible, being as honest with other people as possible and just like saying this is, this is it. Like, this is all I got for you. Just like, just playing life in a strong way. Just saying I am who I am and take that for what you will. You can like me, love me, hate me, despise me, be indifferent about me, it really doesn't matter to me. <clears throat> but I'm just gonna be who I can be and who I wanna be and the best version of myself and I'm gonna be unapologetically. I've been unapol I have been unapologetically me. Now we're here at Publix, where shopping is a pleasure. I don't know about all that, but. All right, well, this, these are the best blackberries I've ever had in my entire life. The first time I had these, I thought it was a fever dream, and I was only able to have one of these, and it's taken me, I feel like it's been, oh, has it been over a year now? Definitely about a year to find these again. Anyway, it's like the best blackberry that you've ever had. It is so good. It is like really, really divine. Every single one of them in this batch, I guarantee, is going to be perfect, perfect flavor. We completed our haul from Publix. I mean, this was... What a gift. I mean, I know I was talking about it in there, but I'm telling you, these sweetest batch are like nothing else you've ever had before. They're, I gotta break them open right now. I'm just eating them right out the pack because it doesn't matter to me. That was like a little fuzzy there. This is how you gotta eat your watermelon. Because it's important to eat all the way down to the pale rind because there's so many nutrients and vitamins in that rind that are so helpful, especially for men, right? <clears throat> like circulation and blood flow and stuff like that. Like obviously it doesn't always taste the best. I get it's more bitter, even though my palate has evolved to the point where I can have an appreciation for it. It's like, you know, a nice, crisp, cool palate cleanser is why I take it. Anyway. <clears throat> And the more you chew, the less hungry you're gonna be. The more you have to chew on, the more you have to eat, the less hungry you're gonna be, and the less likely you are to overeat later. So we are here across the street from the new restaurant. Since we're not open yet, we can't cook anything in there yet. We are here at a place called Athena Roasted Chicken, which is right across the street. And the only reason I stopped here was, you know, I've been here to eat a couple times before, but they have what I feel like I need nutrient-wise for my day. So, you know, for 10 bucks, you can get a half chicken. It's pretty small, but you can get a half chicken and white or dark meat, and I chose all dark meat because, you know, as flavorful as possible is what I would like. They're like lemon roasted potatoes, and then they've got these red beans. And for me, that's a decent meal. Like, do I know exactly how many calories is in here? No, but I just, the only thing I ate before this was fruit. I know that's very minimal, very low calorie, right? This chicken, I can estimate how much it might be. The potatoes, it's a small portion, so it's not gonna be a whole lot, and you need some carbs. You don't need carbs, but it's good to have you know a good amount of carbs in the day. And then I've got these beans, which are gonna provide that and some fiber. I'm a good amount of fiber and protein. So I got the protein in the chicken. I've got a good amount of carbs from the potatoes, and then I've got protein and fiber coming from the beans. So this is just a nice all-around meal for 10 bucks, especially before we go over to the gym. May as well get it in right now. And with something like this, right? The only thing I may have for the rest of the day since I have my fruit and I'm gonna have this, maybe a you know some kind of protein supplement, some shake, maybe some fruit juices or something like that. But like, I really don't need to go overboard after eating something like this because this is gonna be more than enough for me. Okay. All right, so after all the events of today and our nice little lunch break and our fruit run, all of that, we have finally made it here to the gym and it's time to get it in. We got a couple hours ahead of us. We have a couple hours ahead of us Gonna get a couple different things in today, really make the most of it. I wanna carry the same intentionality we had a couple days ago into this workout. Focus, 
intention, high level intensity, max effort, really giving everything the best go, the best effort that I can, and just trying to crush it and kill it. Let's get it. Z to Z, we just crushed an awesome three-in-one workout. Started with legs, did a full leg workout. I don't know why we started with that because I almost couldn't walk afterwards. <laughs> it was intense. It was intentional. A lot of effort put into that. That was an excellent workout. Then moved right onto the chest, which is the first time on camera doing that. And I'm still having to take it easy with the chest workouts just because the shoulder is not 100% yet. And that's the one type of exercise that I got to be careful with, the presses. And then the shoulders, right? The shoulder workout, I can do better than the chest workouts for whatever reason, but that was awesome. Felt really great all the way through. I felt great about the workout today. It was intense. It was awesome. I feel fantastic. I felt like euphoric during the whole workout. I don't know if it's because I ate a meal beforehand, which I don't normally do, but I was like in a different world. I was like, I can do anything. This was a great day. This was awesome. And this is what it's always gotta be. Lots of effort put into it, intention, intensity. That's what I'm focused on moving forward. Obviously, always staying dedicated to the discipline that I've developed and continuing this commitment through and through and through. This is a lifestyle. It is zero to zaddy. Kwame B on Z to Z, out.